Today we're at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds asking people what they know about electricity. Let's go find out. When I say the word electric cooperative, what comes to mind? It's uh, shareholders are the customers. They, they own the company and make decisions based upon voting the officers in and then there's a discount for the energy kicked back to the customer instead of profit going to the company. Andy, where does electricity come from? The air. Where does electricity come from? Um. Do you know where electricity comes from? We've got several power companies, power plants. Um, there's a nuclear plant within uh, 30 miles of my home that's shut down right now because of the Missouri River flooding, but oh. there's a coal production plant. We've got two nuclear plants within 50 mile radius of my house. Where does the electricity come from? Electricity is produced at either hydroelectric facilities, natural gas facilities, coal facilities, uh, and wind energy facilities. Across the United States and the areas that they produce most efficiently at, distributed on transmission lines throughout the Midwest and other areas that aren't the Midwest, that's where I live, uh, to supply electrical needs. Explain to me how electricity gets from the power plant to your home. A lot of energetic people doing their jobs. You plug it in, yep. you flip the switch, and where does the power come from? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Where does electricity come from? Um, I believe ours is coal. What do you do to conserve energy? Oh, the normal, shut the lights off, you know. When you hear the words electric cooperative, what does that mean to you? What does it mean? It means um, that there's a, a bunch of people together that have joined a cooperative jointly to help, I would assume, with their power rates, you know, and they've joined a cooperative, so they're, I, I would, you know, I would guess so they get, you know, good service and better rates. Okay. Is electricity pretty important in your day-to-day -day life? Definitely, especially since like going to college, you have to have a laptop, your cell phone, alarm clock to actually wake up for class. And... How does the electricity get from the power plant to your home? Transmission line, I'll bet. Talk to me about transmission lines. Bob, you sound like you know what you're talking about. Well, no, that doesn't mean I know what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure it comes through a transmission line, high voltage, and it gets dropped down. I'm thinking of starting my own company. You and I could produce electricity. Are you in? I'm in. Beautiful. We'll be partners. We'll make millions. Hundreds. Hundreds. We'll start with hundreds okay. and build. Okay. We'll build. Okay. Everyone gets a free extension cord if they buy from us. <laughs> <sighs> How long could you get along without electricity? Not very long. <laughs> I'm pretty dependent on it. What do you use it for? Uh, use it for, I guess, to light our house. You know, to use it, to, I guess, for a little everything. I guess to power our house, power our businesses. When you hear the words electric cooperative, what comes to mind? How important is electricity in your day-to-day -day life? Oh, it's very important. I work at a retail store, and so we rely on electricity to run the registers, the coolers, the air conditioning. Even at home, I mean, to run, like, I take online classes, so my computer, computer is very, very important as far as getting my education and stuff, too, so it's very important. When you turn on the switch, where does the electricity come from? Power pole in the backyard. <laughs> Ask me something about electricity. Go ahead. What do you know about electricity? Where does it come from? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway. When I say the word electricity, what comes to mind? Okay, and then they take the coal and they... They, they burn it. Uh, I've been in coal plants, I've done work where they actually, they, they pulverize it and it's just like a fuel engine where it blows it into a, into a burner, um, just like a gas engine. G and T. Gin and tonic, that's all I would think. <laughs> so, but I do, I really don't know what a G and T would be. Generation and transmission. Okay. What do you think of that? Cool. And when you flip the switch, the lights come on? Yes, generally. Do you turn them off when you leave a room? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Kids on the other hand. Yeah, the kids forget <laughs> it. You can't. Yeah, or you. Oh, ouch. <laughs> My wife leaves the lights on because she doesn't want our hamster to be stuck in the dark. <laughs> Your thoughts? Mm, yeah, hamsters live in the dark half the time, don't they? They like dark. 